I came at a bad time. No, no. I think you couldn't have timed it better. 23.47.15 system time. Very punctual, Kafka. Mm, Elio always tells the exact future. So what's with the explosion just now? Was that also part of his script? Uh-huh. 23.44.59 system time. The pulses from the explosion cause a massive breakdown from the master control system. You did that? No. The antimatter legion did it. They completely invaded the space station two system hours ago. Alright. So do we need to fight the Legion? I don't know. Elio didn't say anything about it, so it doesn't matter. Got it. So from now on, I'll be in charge of this operation. Copy. Can you let me have some fun this time? Our last few operations turned out to be pretty dull. Sorry, I'm afraid there is not much I can do for you. Our task this time is just to place the target properly. But if you want to go look for some fun yourself, I won't stop you. I mean, after all. <laughs> After all, Elio didn't put it in the script. Why would it matter? May as well kill them all. Who's this? Yeah. <laughs> she looks... She's a member of the Genius Society, and an emanator of new Theater Edition. She can probably age backwards. <laughs> yeah, I seem to recall that over half of the Genius Society's 80-odd members had a normal death. Wasn't there someone who lived for... <laughs> That's pretty normal. Aren't the immortal bosses in games always waiting for the protagonist to come kill them? <laughs> Immortality is not always a good thing. <laughs> be able to slow down the Astral Express crew. Relax. Uh, this is Xander. Xander... The one? Yeah, that's him. If the let... Well, they better be false. I don't want to be a Xandar hunter. I know this. I'm not interested. Who's this? Uh, Who's this old guy with no idea? <laughs> hey, Silver Wolf, look. It's screw. Ha! Huh? Oh, that battle was how Alio got his eyes on you. Imagine someone actually able to crack screw. Uh, seems like I.
This will take long. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Send it, Silver Wolf. Some random oh. coordinates. Not important. You care about where that Void Ranger ended up? Of course not. I'm just amazed that this fancy technique of yours is usual. <sighs> just a little trick of tampering with the data of reality. I wouldn't call it fancy. What were you looking at so intently just- Herta's toys. A catalog featuring the space station's collection of rare- Like what? There's this gun. It can rate any creature within its crosshair as a score from 0 to 100. Uh, doesn't sound very interesting. Aren't you curious about how much you would score? I kinda wanna know mine. Fine, I guess we can swing by and play with it if it's- Go down the corridor behind the door on the left. There's a room where some kind of rare item is stored. Oh, so that's where the Stellaron is. That's where we can find out where the Stellaron is. area of the space station is up ahead. There will be lots of Legion Void Rangers there. Okay. May as well kill them all. That needs optimizing. Hmm. At this speed, too slow.
Hold it. Someone or something. Looks like we're the ones getting ambushed. But they're the ones getting besieged. You took the bait just like that. Good times never last. Time to say bye. Not a single soul here. Impressive evacuation work. Did Herda organize it herself? According to the access history, she hasn't logged in here for over six months. The evacuation was directed by the... That doesn't ring a bell. Oh, right. Elio said we wouldn't run into Herta. It seems she really... Where's the Stellaron? Elio's script doesn't include any info about the location of the Stellaron, which means in the future he foresees... We would find the Stellaron in a non-physical way. This space station is packed with extraordinary objects. I wouldn't be surprised if there's one that can make it happen. Well, hiding something extraordinary with something extraordinary. This is pretty Herta. I assume you know what to do. I mean, you've read the catalog for quite a while. I've got all the clues we need. Help me investigate the terminal in this room. Okay. The stage is yours. I can see the whole space station on the surveil. Even if you could, it'd be a trap. Herta doesn't display her collections. This is the monitoring room. They must have deleted the records and made a run for it. <sighs> Make your way over here then. There's no point in trying to search like this. So, got a- It's a matter of hacking the surveillance system to- Aha, uh -huh, I see. Simple, crude, but effective. Look. Hmm. Huh. What's this? Item number 211. Line spot. A simple light deflecting field. It allows an object in its field to pass unnoticed, but if a different item ceases to be obvious, the object gets revealed. Her to hide the simplest method is the hardest to spot, isn't that? <laughs> the data suggests it's just an ordinary hologram, but it has an added layer. Let's take a look. Interesting. She's a member of the Genius Society, all right. The Stellaron is up ahead. Let's hurry. Huh. 
It has its own security system. I guess even for Herda, Stellaron is no ordinary rarity. Can you get it? Of course. Even the genius Herda can't compete with me when it comes to hacking. Good. Then I'll also count. The receptacle's ready. Your decision. <laughs> Elio said this decision will bring about lots of changes. He also said, it must be you who makes it. Want to give her a new name? <laughs> Space station, but that's not important. Listen, you are in a daze right now. You don't know who you are, why you're here, or what you're going to do next. You think I look familiar, but you're not sure if you should trust me. None of that matters. All you need to know is that I'm leaving, and you will be left all alone on this space station. From now on, you needn't think about your past or doubt yourself. Listen, in the near future, you will encounter all kinds of perils and hardships, but at the end of your journey, all that perplexes you and troubles you will resolve. This is your future that Elio has foreseen. Do you like it? The next stop to pave the way for the future that is written. It's like weaving brocade, you and I. How long do you think you need? According to the script, the Astral Express crew is arriving soon. We should avoid being seen by them. I know, Silver Wolf. Just give me another minute. I must leave now. Don't worry, someone will come and find you very soon. Just go with them. When you have a chance to make a choice, make one that you know you won't regret. Weren't there coordinates sent out from the space station? Who cares? They're here and alive. Do they look like a mannequin to you? <sighs> Weak heartbeat and pulse. Try harder? I'm sure you... Nice to meet you. My name's Don Hung, and this is March 7th. This space station was just attacked by the Antimatter Legion. We came to help with the rest... Goon zoned by the destruction. You're lucky the most dangerous Lord Ravager among them isn't around. We'll take those invaders out soon. Don't worry. Uh-huh. A petite cutie with pink hair? Madame Herda appointed her to be the acting lead researcher. That girl really needs to step up. I can't believe her own employee doesn't even know her name. 
back to the master control zone. Asta and the other researchers have gathered. Plus, that's where we parked the Astral Express. Don't you worry. We'll protect you from the monsters and clear up this mess. Don Hong and I are members of the Astral Express crew. Well, the Express has some dealings with Madame Herta. So we come to visit the space station from time. We just so happen to arrive. Yeah. You've never seen it? it it's a unique train that can travel between the stars with the power of the Trailblaze Eon. I'll show you once we're back to the Master Control. You and March go back together. Arlan from the security department lost contact in the vicinity. Oh, all right. You stay safe. Hmm. The Legion are rampaging through the space station like a pack of wolves. Just a suggestion, though. You're safe as long as you stick with me. Mm-hmm. 